because one hears of such incidents, but I hadn't hoped I'd have to see this in my own family. To many parents like me, asking them to think very carefully before they give away everything to their children. By all means, give what you want to. I'm not telling you don't give. I'm only saying, give it after you're gone, after your death. Don't give it in your lifetime, because you may have to pay a very heavy price. And meeting him has no meaning, because he won't listen to me. And if I say something which he doesn't like, he may scream at me, he may abuse me, he may scold me. He does all these kind of things. But in the earlier years, I think he kept it closely held. And once he got the power of money, which I stupidly gave him everything, it all came out. Maybe it was always a part of him. When I look back, I can see lots of instances where uh, I see bits and pieces of this thrown over all his personality, his character. It's full of all of it. And that's not what I am used to. I also had a lot of money at one time and power and authority. I don't think it ever went to my head by God's grace. If he's gone to his head, maybe he's one of those. And there are many in this world who allow it to go to their head. Money is power, power is ego, ego is arrogance. Simple as that. Because his motto is buy everybody and buy everything and buy every, buy, buy, buy. That's what he did with me. I didn't have that kind of money left to fight him. So he bought everything. Gautam won't listen to anybody. He will do what he wants. He's not the kind who will mediate or get mediated. He'll do exactly what he wants. And if the law doesn't permit it, he'll buy the law. He's thrown me out of my own house. So what can I say? He's living alone in a 36 floor building. He has no care or consideration for his parents, for his nephews who were living there. He's thrown everybody out because he can buy everybody. I can keep on shouting, keep on complaining, keep on burning my heart. Where does that get me? The best is to keep out and live your life, whatever little is left. It has no meaning. Very few people call me. He was here yesterday. I came and walked. He didn't even get up or turn around to see me. He's become a very arrogant person. I gave him, gave him everything. By mistake, I was left with some money on which I am surviving today. Otherwise, I would have been on the road. He'd be happy to see me on the road. I'm sure of that. If he can throw his wife out like this, throw his father out like this, I don't know what he is.